I know, as I said, there will be a lot of assistants who are looking to move into this space. So I wondered, Pam, if we start with you, what skills um, do you most rely on because you work in technology? Um, you, you know, I going back to what Julia just said, I think um, resourcefulness is probably the top skill to have in tech because of the pace. Um, half of the things that I'm asked to do, I've never done before or have no idea where to start. And so being able to just start digging into whether it's a Google search or LinkedIn or reaching out to the network. So that resourcefulness I think is, is key. And then also being able to build and nurture relationships because we often need to rely on each other and it's, it's a currency sort of, you know, that, that we can use. I, you know, if someone's done me a favor, I'm very inclined to try to return that favor. Um, the hard skills, I think, you know, whether it's, you know, prioritizing things or calendar, those sorts of things I think are, are consistent across industries, whether you're in tech or not. I think it's those softer ones that we, that we really rely on resourcefulness and, um, and relationship building. Mm. And Rosie, what skills do you rely on? Um, in terms of hard skills, hard skills. I really rely on like tech savvy skills. I've worked hard in the last couple of years to have a basic understanding of HTML, of coding, of how engineering works, of how product managers work, um, really trying to understand the challenges that everyone else is going through so that when I'm working with them, I have that empathy and that knowledge so that I, I know what they're working around and I can help them. You know, our job is to make things easier for other people. And if I don't know what their challenges are, then I can't do that. That's brilliant. And I was going to ask that. Um, so the answer, I think the answer will be positive. It, does it help to be techie? <laughs> <laughs> to a certain extent, like you don't like, I certainly am not an engineer, but I have a, I, I know enough to know how they work. It helps to um, you know, be able to do basic troubleshooting. Um, we probably are all feel like the tech department for our executives. <laughs> um, it helps to be able to learn new softwares quickly. Yeah, I was going to say, I miss the days of scrambling under a table trying to work out why the conference call wasn't working. <laughs> I'm so glad those, those days are gone. <laughs> we kind of have to do it remotely now, which actually is probably tougher. But um, thank you, Rosie. That's such a great answer. I think it's that, as you said, it's having that empathy with other people and speaking a common language, which just helps across the board. And Julia, what about you? Do you, do you think it helps to be techie working in tech? Um, well, I don't really consider myself very techie because um, unlike Rosie um, and Pam, you know, I don't really support uh, an executive who works in engineering and product. We have an executive assistant who, who does. So my role is very much um, kind of a business executive. So somebody who is there really to help um, kind of think strategically and navigate around potential blockers, somebody who is there to be that link between uh, cross functions and again, an enabler in many ways. Um, so I'd like to think I'm techie enough to understand some of the jargon and my glossary helps, but I'm nowhere near coding as Rosie has, has said. I mean, it's, um, it's a great hard skill for sure um but you know in to echo pam i think soft skills and in, in our role are incredibly important and building those relationships um are are, are absolutely crucial for me mm. are there any other skills that you do rely on um i think just um adaptability being able to move fast because not only are we a startup that moves really really quickly we're going through a hyper growth and there is no time to kind of dilly dally and go through processes we don't have many processes yet we're kind of we're flying this rocket ship as we're building it so it's being able to adapt really quickly take away learnings and apply them really quickly. And if something doesn't work, let it go and move on to something new. Um, so yeah, so that, that that's one of the kind of key skills that I, I've brought, brought to the table as well. Mm -hmm.